The LA Sparks give the Aces a run for their money, but the Aces get the win. Welcome back to Viva Las Aces, your home for everything about the Las Vegas Aces. Um, before we dig into anything, be sure to hit that like button. Be sure to subscribe. Drop some comments below. Let me know your thoughts about this game or about some upcoming games and everything about the Aces. This is brought to you by the Deep Dig A Sports Network. So let's go ahead and dig in. All right. So on Saturday, the LA Sparks traveled to Las Vegas to take on the Aces. And this was a very, very competitive game. Before we kicked off this game, though, there was some exciting news from Las Vegas in general. The city of Las Vegas actually donated $100,000 to each player of the Las Vegas Aces, which is really awesome. So they were taking the court 100 k richer, which is something that I would like to see across the, the board for these women as they've worked so hard. They've pushed this game forward. But, of course, you got to start off with the back-to-back, -back, hopefully three-time champions Las Vegas Aces. So that's great to see that the community has rallied around the Aces. Vegas as a whole has rallied around. The WNBA has rallied around the Aces, and you're starting to see that, which is awesome. So they take the court. They are The Aces were taking on the LA Sparks. And one thing that really stood out in the beginning of this game was the LA Sparks are going to have a duo with Cameron Brink and De'Erica Hamby. These two really caused some havoc, clogging up that lane. Both of them huge. Both of them very defensive. Both of them not afraid to get dirty. So it was awesome to see. And honestly, Asia Wilson struggled a little bit at the beginning of this game. Really couldn't find the rhythm. The rest of the aces were started off kind of, you know, the same way. A little bit gun shy on this. You started to see Jackie Young just couldn't really find the rhythm where it wasn't working before against the Mercury, which was, hey, I'm going to put my head down. I'm going to run to the basket. I'll find the open person. Nobody was really hitting their shots. She wasn't able to create contact, didn't really get the fouls at first. And Kelsey Plum was one for seven in the first half. So really struggled to find her shot. But eventually they started to pull up. And one thing that these uh, sparks are going to have to do, specifically Cameron Brink, is be smarter, understand that in, this isn't college, even though in college Cameron Brink was still running into foul trouble. In college, you get six fouls. In the WNBA, you get five. So Cameron Brink down the stretch had to really ride that line between being aggressive and being a little overly aggressive and the Aces being rewarded for it. and. Cameron Brink got into foul trouble early, got into foul trouble often. And the biggest one was, I believe, with like 10 seconds left in the first half, she gets her third foul. If you're the uh, Sparks coach, you have to coach Cameron Brink on this. Hey, we're about to go to half. Don't do anything that puts you in a stupid position because then the rest of this game, you have to play a different way. And that's exactly what happened. And the Aces found their rhythm. One thing that Becky Hammond was saying previously was, I love Asia in the paint, but realistically, she can step out. She has a good mid-range, and she has a good three-point shot. Why not utilize that? Let's do that. Let's create some spacing, and let's make sure that we are able to play our game. Another uh, component to this Aces team was Kate Martin comes into this game, didn't get to play the first game, played the second game, played a lot of minutes actually, and was just kind of the spark that they needed. Had a really good block, had some three-point shooting, just put a different dynamic out on the court, and it really helped out creating some space, allowing the shooters to work. It just worked out. And so that was really good to see from this Aces team. What can we do against different outlooks because we see against these two bigs we're going to have to create more shooting so what are we going to go ahead and do we're going to now put in Kate Martin we're going to trust these shooters and we are going to open things up for Asia it worked out and down the stretch of this first half they actually went on a 17 to 1 run to put them in the driver's seat heading into the second half the second half they come out and Dierica Hamby was the best player by far for this LA Sparks team. 
It was awesome to see. She ended up with 29, nine rebounds, one assist. She was doing it all. It was awesome, but it just wasn't enough. I feel like, again, Cameron Brink being in foul trouble really just put a cloud over this LA Sparks team for the rest of this game. Uh, she ended up getting her fourth foul, I believe, with like eight minutes left in the third quarter. Didn't play the rest of the third quarter, only played a portion of the fourth quarter, I believe like halfway of it. But and you just really started to see if there was another teammate there with Dierica Hamby to really take the pressure off of her and allow her to take a breather because she was the Sparks offense. She was the Sparks defense. So if Cameron Brink had been there or if there had been another shooter that had gotten a little bit more active, it would be a different story for this Sparks team. But the Aces just play such a constricting style of play. They will allow you to have dinks and dunks here, but realistically, they are going to do everything right in order to create offense for themselves to limit things for you. And when you make mistakes, they are going to capitalize. So you just you just started to see this as this game got going and as this game really settled into the rhythm of what it was going to be. And the Sparks just really couldn't overcome it. I mean, they did make it a close game. I believe it was a four-point game with about a minute left. But the Aces just know what to do. They get to the line. They understand, hey, if we can just drag this out, we are going to get this win. And that's what good teams do. And the Aces are the best. Yeah, so tomorrow the Sparks are going to be playing the Washington Mystics. We'll see if they can shore up some things moving forward. Uh, and the Aces are actually going to be playing the Mercury again. Feel good about that matchup. If you are the Aces, you understand realistically the Mercury were shooting at an extremely high clip. If we can play better perimeter defense, then, hey, it's going to be a different story. But if you're the Mercury and you're like, hey, we know what it took when we settled down on defense. We really tried to play stiff and clog up the lane and ensure that Asia Wilson wasn't getting all those points in the paint. If we can do that earlier, we're going to have ourselves a game. And we continue to shoot the way we did. We know that this is going to be a much different story. So it's, a again, a very interesting matchup. So we'll see. But let me know. Again, drop your comments below. Be sure to like this video. And subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Peace out. Viva Las Aces.